Shalom. Today I'd like to show you a Bible code called Yeshua Messiah or Yeshua Mashiach. And this Bible code is found in the Torah from Genesis to Deuteronomy. And the skip is 32,480. The access term is here in the red going up. Yeshua Mashiach. Yeshua the Messiah. And in this blue lettering, crossing right over the access term and sharing the yod, is the word crucifixion. The first prophecy in the Bible about the Messiah who was going to come is found in Genesis chapter 3 verse 15, where it says, I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. So that was Yahuwah speaking to Satan, who was in the form of a snake, saying that the Messiah will come and bruise your head. One other prophecy is from Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14, and this was written 700 years before Yeshua came on the scene. And this verse says, Therefore Yahuwah himself shall give you a sign, Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and call his name Emmanuel. So this Messiah was going to come through the seed of the woman, and was going to be born of a virgin. Here we have the word for virgin, Bethula, and it's crossing the access term in the pink, a skip of five letters. We have her name, Mary or Miriam, in this peach two rows above virgin. We have the word for pregnancy in this teal going down diagonal. And we have in the burgundy sharing the mem in the access term is from birth. So he was the Messiah from birth. So his purpose, his main purpose in coming to earth was to be an atoning sacrifice for the sins of the people. So that's why we see crucifixion here. We also have the word pierced in this green lettering going down. His hands and his feet were pierced and a sword pierced his side. And it's the same skip as our access term. When Yeshua was on the cross, he cried out, My El, my El, why have you forsaken me? And to forsake is in this orange lettering. And that was actually a prophecy that was given in Psalm 22, verse 1. David is writing this psalm, but he is saying the exact same thing that Yeshua said on the cross. My El, my El, why have you forsaken me? In this mauve lettering, we have the word finish. And from the cross, before he gave up his spirit, he said, it is finished. John 19 verse 30 says, So when Yeshua had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. Now in the plain text of scripture here, we have the word purple. And they had clothed him with a robe of purple before they crucified him. And they were mocking him. So purple is the color of royalty, but it's also a color for the priesthood. This verse here is from Exodus chapter 38, verse 23, where it talks about the artisans and the weavers of purple, blue, and scarlet thread and fine linen. Now we're going to look at some names that are in this table. Here in the blue, we have Eliel, and that's a name that means El is my El. And remember, we were just talking about Yeshua being on the cross saying, My El, my El, why have you forsaken me? And it's interesting that Eliel would be in the same line as the word forsaken. Elohim is up in the top, almost in the center here. Down here in this gold lettering is from Leviticus chapter 18, verse 21. And this says, Ani Yahuwah. I am Yahuwah. Here we have the name Moses, and right beside, the name Elijah. Before Yeshua went to the cross, he went up on the Mount of Transfiguration with three of his disciples. Moses and Elijah showed up there, too. In Luke chapter 9, verses 30 and 31, 
It says, And behold, two men talked with him, who were Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory and spoke of his decease, which he was about to accomplish at Jerusalem. So that was their topic of conversation, was him going to the cross to be crucified and to die. Now in this green lettering, it says to consecrate or to dedicate. And in a verse, two lines above that, it has the word dedicate in it as well. That verse is from Numbers chapter 7, verse 88, where it talks about the dedication of the altar after it was anointed. So it's interesting that to consecrate would be here, Hanok, and that it would be in the plain text of scripture here. And Yeshua, after he was crucified, it says in Hebrews chapter 9, verses 11 and 12, But Christ came as high priest of the good things to come, with the greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is, not of this creation, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood. He entered the most holy place once for all, having obtained eternal redemption. Now, up at the top of the table in this dark blue, we have the word prophecy, and we've already looked at several prophecies, like from Genesis chapter 3 and Isaiah chapter 7 and Psalm 22. Here in the brown lettering is the word revolution, or it can mean upheaval, and that's what Yeshua caused with the religious leaders of his day. They saw him as a threat to their way of life and their control over the people. And Yeshua coming into the world was a pivotal event in history. And we even base our Gregorian calendar and our dating on his life. Like B.C. means before Christ and A.D. means Anno Domini in the year of our Lord. 1 John chapter 3 verse 8 says, for this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. So that was a revolution there. And his disciples carried on that revolution. In Acts chapter 17 verse 6, the leaders in Thessalonica said, These who have turned the world upside down have come here too. Here in the pink lettering, we have the word love. And that word is twice in this table. It's there spanning the full length of the table. And love is here, sharing the Allah in another word. This story of Yeshua Mashiach is the greatest love story ever told. And John chapter 3 verse 16 says, For Yahuwah loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Here in this yellow is the word gift. And Yeshua is the gift that we are to receive for eternal life. Romans chapter 6 verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yah is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So now I'd like to tell you what this highlighted verse is. And I'm going to read it in context. It's from Numbers chapter 27, verses 16 to 18. And it says, Let Yahuwah, the El of spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation, who may go out before them, who may lead them out and bring them in, that the congregation of Yahuwah may not be like sheep, which have no shepherd. And Yahuwah said to Moses, Take Joshua, or Yehoshua, the son of Nun, with you, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay your hand on him. So that is prophetic of Yeshua being set over the congregation. And in John chapter 10, Yeshua says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. And verse 9 says, I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. So I hope you found this table an encouragement. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Shalom.